Facebook Live, Facebook Live, we have arrived. One more time, y'all. Let's let's get it in. Hallelujah. Conference muted. Conference recording started. I want to thank everybody for chiming in. This is Watchman Derek Yahoo the Israel, also known as Pastor Derek. On the early will I see the script study and prayer line on this 26th day in uh, June 2023. Hallelujah. Big Sean. What's up with it, man? You see your brother's getting better. I'm healing up, man. I've been sick for a minute, but uh, I'm back at it like a fanatic. Oh, I never left the post. So y'all know, Yosef holding down the conference line as usual. I see you in there, Barbara. Faithful. Trisha Johnson, you in here too. Like clockwork. We got uh, Al Mal, my pal up in here. We got uh, my big sister Fee in the building. We got my mama. My mama up in here. My mother-in-law up in here. Hallelujah. It's a great day to be saved with Coach Don Deems. Good to see you. Good to see you. Coming clean, part eight of them. Uh, shout out to a, a Mark Cox family. Hallelujah. Who are in celebration of his birthday today. R.I.P. Hallelujah. Thanks for the shout out. Hallelujah, big, big shot. <clears throat> shalom, shalom, shalom. With no further ado, I'm going to have to get in and get out this morning. Hallelujah, so we're going to dive straight in. Coming clean, part of, part eight, Matty Yahoo Dolphs, good to see you in here. Ken Collis in the building. Hallelujah, you see it. Uh, R-I-O, R-I-P, I know what you're talking about. Big shot, 1 Corinthians 11, 31, look what it say. <clears throat> For if we judge ourselves, we should not be judged. But when we are judged, we're chastened of Yahuwah, that we should not be condemned with the world. So, the spiritual platform for us to judge ourselves, so the most I don't have to do it, would be the basura, what they call the gospel. Because what happens is the word is presented to an individual that's unyali, a sinner. And what happens is based on their response to the word, judgment happens, right? Either they judge to find themselves unworthy of salvation, judged uh, to damnation based on them rejecting the word, or they're judging themselves. The Basora came, death, burial, resurrection. The Basora came, and, and and they looked at their lives, they looked at the word, and they became guilty, and they judged themselves to be guilty. Demina, I see you in here. Boca Toe. Are y'all with me? They judged themselves uh, to be sinners, and they repented. That's the complete judgment. To admit you wrong is not complete judgment. You're just admitting that you're guilty. To judge the matter is to correct the matter. What they call the gospel is the platform for that to happen. Are y'all with me? Banks, missed call from you. I'm going to call you today. Are y'all with me? Y'all know what it is. Coming clean, part eight. We still coming clean, y'all. Listen what it say. For if we judge ourselves, 1 Corinthians 11 and 31 and 32 for if we judge ourselves, we should not be judged. There's, there's a time of judgment where the Most High going to judge wicked, the wicked. Bree, what it be? You know what it is. Coming clean, part eight. 
1 Corinthians 11, 31 and 32. There's going to be a time where the Most High going to judge. And Peter, it talked about judgment must first begin at the house of Yah. Y Yah is dealing with judgment concerning his children right now. Yeah. Cleaning us up. Gave us the tools to use that we can get clean. And we get to walk circumspectly before him. We get to walk transparent, pure in heart. Yali intentions towards the most high. We want to be changed. We, we want to be transformed into his image. That's what we want. When he tells us to do something, we want to do it. Those that belong to it. We couldn't imagine not doing it. I could not imagine not obeying y'all. I celebrate that when he tell me to do something and, and and I have every intention on doing it and then I see it manifested. Man, that's happy. That's happy times for me, Trenda. Put up a cheer. We in here. First Corinthians 11, 31 and 32. For if we judge ourselves, we should not be judged. So, so, so the Basora, what they call the gospel, the Basora comes and, and it presents uh, the mind of Yah. It presents the commandments of Yah. It presents the oracles of the Most High to the sinner, the unyali person. And those of us that judge ourselves to be guilty and we repent, we judged ourselves. Yeah. Just like the word said. For if we judge ourselves, we should not be judged. But when we're judged, y'all want to deal with judgment today? I mean, we, we can talk about it. You got to understand that uh, the whole world is guilty before the most high. Worthy of damnation and destruction. The only uh, way of reconciliation came through Abraham. I want y'all to know that. He's the prototype of reconciliation with Yah. There is no other way. It's funny how you got the Book of Mormons, right? Where they got uh, these so-called prophets, men of Yah, apostles, disciples. John Smith, is that his name? But they got these uh, European disciples of what happened in the Americas. If that ain't a bunch of if that ain't man, the stuff that we believe based on not knowing Yah being kidnapped and being brainwashed. Now they got a whole nother Bible with, with a whole nother set of disciples from Europe. <laughs> As if there's another people that the Most High entered into a covenant agreement with. Now that we know the word better, don't that sound like ludicrous? And in the Mormon um, religion, uh, Hebrews, the true people of Yah, can only go so far up the rank. Ain't that a role reversal? Tia, we in here, Woods, we in the building, coming clean, part eight. <laughs> First Corinthians 11, 31 and 32. So we got a book of Mormons where, where melanated people, the true Hebrews, can only go so far up the rankings. And I think that dude's name is John Smith, but whatever, that, that stuff is insane. There's only one covenant people, the seed of Abraham, period. That's it. There is no other. And salvation is through him. The whole world is, is guilty before the most high. The way out was through Abraham, Leslie Sutton. I see you in here. The only way of salvation w was through Abraham's seed via, via, via Isaac, via the, via the child of faith, because he had more children than Isaac. But salvation came through Isaac. 
and Isaac had Yaakov, Jacob. Jacob had the 12 tribes. Those are his children. Those are the ones he entered into covenant agreement with. That's why he went and rescued them uh, uh, out of Egypt so he could enter into covenant agreement with it in Mount Sinai. That was, that was us, his children, bloodline children. Are y'all with me? He entered to, into a covenant agreement with them, and they broke it. Jeremiah 31, 31 through 33, and they broke it. Right? So when you look at the 32nd verse, and it says, but when we are judged, listen, when we are judged, we're chasing a Yahuwah. We didn't get it right. We didn't um, admit our wrong and get it right. So he judged us. And we are chasing a Yahuwah that we should not be condemned with the world. At the end of the day, he don't want his children condemned with the world, and they won't be. There's destruction in the land, but he's rescuing his children. Here we go again, y'all. We're at the last lap, though. We didn't serve the, the, the worst part, the 400. We didn't serve that. That was judgment. We're chasing we got chastened. Yeah. Judgment must first begin at the house of Yah. We got chastened. Now it's time for reconciliations. JB, we in here, man. You know what it is. Come and clean part eight. First Corinthians 11, 31 and 32. For when we are judged, we're chasing the you. Man, come on. Let's read it then. Let's go to Romans 11 one more time. I'm going to show y'all something. I'm going to probably play with the NIV, y'all, this morning. Just so y'all can get what, what it is. Listen. I asked then, did y'all reject his people? By no means. Did y'all hear that? That's what it looked like. No, we were chastened. Why? So we, we won't be condemned with the world. Now we're entering into... The Most High is finna deal with some stuff. He dealing with it now. We served the four hundred judgment is here. Now, you see, you see what's happening in the world. It ain't the same. It's all bad. Most High swinging. Yeah, and what his children should be doing is going into Goshen, just like he starts swinging on original Egypt. Goshen, he wasn't swinging on Goshen. The name of Yahuwah is the Goshen. The name of Yahuwah is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and they say, run on in there. Listen, I asked then, did, did Yah reject his people? By no means. Look, for I am Israel, myself, a descendant of Abraham from the tribe of Benjamin. Listen, he is blood. This New Testament, he bloodline. He ain't rejected. He hasn't been replaced by the church. Repl ain't no replacement for Israel. They lied to you. Ain't there's no replacement for you. That's why they were so mad at Kanye and all them people that got reach. Because a part of our liberation is that we wake up to who we are. Just like when Moshe went to uh, the Hebrews when they was in the first Egypt, the shadow and type Egypt, the two hundred fifteen year Egypt. When Moshe went, when, when, when Moses went, went, went to them to, to try to rescue them, he thought they would know. But they was on some block stuff. They was on some old, some old street stuff like we on some old thug life. That's what they, that was. That's what they was on. Some Egyptian thug life. And that's where we at Catholicized. Some American thug life. We on some old, some old Baptist church type. When we need, when we, we need to wake up and find out we the people, because that's we, when we find out we the people. We finding out it's spreading, but when we find out we the people. That's when he moving. When when we when we find out we the people and start crying out, and, and and they trying to move against us to give us a reason to cry out. They they want this message to stop. 
They labeling us. They labeling. They labeling us as hate group type hype. Feel me? Based on they wanted to stop. Shh, be quiet. No, we ain't being quiet. <laughs> Listen, <clears throat> I asked him, did 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 y'all reject his people by no means? Listen, he said, I'm I'm Israel, Yasharel, myself, a descendant of Abraham from the tribe of Benjamin. Y'all did not reject his people for he for whom he foreknew. Don't you know what the scripture said in the passage about Elijah? How he appealed to Yah against Yasharel? Adonai, they have killed your prophets, tore down your altars, and I'm only left, and they're trying to kill me. And what did Yah answer him? I have reserved to myself 7,000 who have not bowed a knee to Baal. So too, at the present time, there's a remnant chosen by unmerited favor. And if by unmerited favor, then it cannot be based on works. If it, if, if it were, unmerited favor would no longer be unmerited favor. He set it up by with unmerited favor because Israel was so twisted, he could have he could have destroyed all twelve tribes because we went against him. But he he divorced ten tribes, the northern kingdom, the southern kingdom is the kingdom that the Messiah was going to be born of. So the Most High to complete his promise to Abraham, oh he loyal to the soil, to keep his 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 promise to Abraham, he preserved uh, uh, the southern kingdom. Judah, Benjamin, right? So that the Messiah could be born to rescue all 12 tribes. His goal was to the seed of the woman would bruise the head of the serpent, the serpent head would bruise his heels. Listen, seven verse. What then, what the people of uh, Yasharel sought so earnestly they did not obtain, the elect among them did, but the others were hardened as it is written. Yah gave them to, to a spirit of stupor eyes that they could not see and ears that they could not hear to this very day. So so they, they, they ended up not only being blind to having the true relationship through faith with the Most High, right? But it even got worse. It got worse because in the captivity, they, they even forgot who they were. They got jacked for their identity. That's what the wake up is about. They got jacked for, that, for their identity. Just like the first Egypt, the children of Yasharel, Israel that was in Egypt, they really didn't know who they was, not to, to the level of them having a true relationship with the Most High. That, that wasn't too relevant that they were the seed of Abraham. They, 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 Moshe, Moses is the one that the Most High, he told him his name, told him who he was sent him back to Egypt after he had ran off and was in Midian for 40 years, came back when he was 80. He left when he was 40, came back when he was 80. Yeah. And, 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 and he, met the, he met the most high at the burning bush, got his assignment, came back in, learned his name at the burning bush to bring back the, 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 uh, the, 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 the Hebrews. They didn't know. Just like now, we didn't know in our land of captivity. We Catholicize, uh, 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 Merry Christmas, Easter, Halloween. We're going along with all this satanic stuff they're doing. These little witchcraft cartoons they got. This little sick sexual agenda they got. Now they want to go to bed with our children, sexualizing the children. These sick, wicked folk. Yeah. Yeah. We waking up like, wait, what, what's going on around? We waking up. Look at this. A verse, as it's written, Yah gave them the spirit of stupor, eyes that they could not see, ears that they could not hear to this very day. David said, may their table become a snare and a trap, stumbling block and a retribution for them. May their eyes be darkened so that they cannot see and their backs bent over forever. Even David uh, uh, was mad at them. Hating on them. He sounded like a little hater though, didn't he? Hating on them. But some of these jokers, we, 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 we a trip. We need to wake our game up. Listen. 11 verse. Again, I ask, did they stumble so as to fall beyond recovery? We fell. We definitely in them dry bones that Ezekiel was talking about. But did we fall uh, beyond recovery? 
did the Most High wash his hands of us? Is he done with us? No, there was a beat down. It was it, it it was a it was a he 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 gave us a whooping after whooping after whooping, didn't he? Assyrian captivity whooping, didn't he? Greeks, didn't he? Babylonian, Roman. Now we under the Roman whooping. Are y'all with me? Now that uh, when we get to the toes of the other statue, mixed with uh, iron and mixed with a uh, 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 clay, you know, clay sounds like humanism. Iron, that's that old transhumanism. They try what they what they doing? Trying to, trying to turn us into robots? What they doing? What they doing? They coming with some other stuff, changing our blood, and it get, it's getting weird. But anyway, again I ask, eleven verse, y'all. Again I ask, did they stumble? So as to fall beyond recovery, not at all. Rather, because of their transgression, salvation has come to the Gentile to make Israel envious. Okay, our oppressors is getting saved. To whatever level. But our oppressors is getting saved. Can they completely get saved? Yeah, if they repent. The majority of them not. The majority of them hate us. The majority of them is racist. The majority of them enjoy their privilege, enjoy uh, uh, them look, looking down their nose at, at, at looking down their nose at us. Frank, we in here, Denise. Uh huh. Yeah, we coming clean. Part eight. We in Romans eleven eleven right now. But 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 uh, salvation is came to them, to the Gentiles, right? Listen to the Gentile to make us envious because this is our covenant agreement. They jacked us for it, took it from us, took our identity and kicked us to the curb like we nothing, treated us like we was nothing and they want us to believe we nothing but we waking up now. We find we find out we the apple of his eye and he finna rescue us and he finna, he finna destroy all the nations that dogged us out. You didn't get away with it. Yeah. Twelfer. But if their transgressions means the riches for the world and their loss means the riches of the Gentiles, how much greater riches will their full inclusion bring? What's going to happen when we wake up? Well, it's happening now. The cat's out the bag now. The cat ain't going back in the bag. There's nothing they can do about it. All they threats, Intel Pro, all they, all they investigations, labeling us, uh-huh, be killing some of us, uh-huh. They, they, they added like, like a fanatic with this Luciferianism, this wicked stuff. But the cat's out the back. We're not going back to Catholicism no more. We know what it is now. And the word is spreading. We got some hardcore jokers still running around talking about, I was born a Baptist, I'm a die Baptist. You better wake your crazy self up and quit tripping. 13th verse, what does it say? I am talking to you Gentiles, back to the Gentiles, not to these crazy Baptists. Listen, I am talking to you Gentiles, listen. And as much as I am the apostle to the Gentiles, so we got the Hebrew that's over the Gentiles, right? And the reason why he over the Gentile, he got he got fed up with Israel. They wouldn't listen. He said, "Well, you 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 count yourself unworthy of eternal life. I'm going to the Gentile, and if you follow his footsteps, he literally went to Europe, the European nations, where the Europeans were. That's where he started traveling. Yeah, he 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 stopped going to where." Uh, melanated people were. And he started his evangelism. Look up the journey of Paul, the, the missionary trip or the, 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 the evangelism of Paul. Google it and you're going to see where he went. He went. He literally went to the Gentiles. Right? I am talking to you Gentiles in as much I'm an apostle to you Gentiles. I take pride in my ministry in the hope that I might somehow rouse my own people to envy to save some of them. He went to them 
not he was upset with them when he said you count yourself unworthy of 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 salvation because right here discloses his heart he was going to them trying to make Israel jealous oh you don't want yah well i'm going to these i'm going to these heathens this tell you why 14th verse, in hope that I may somehow arouse my own people to envy and save some of them. Wake up. This is your Elohim. This is your covenant agreement. Well, that's what we're doing right now. The, the, the bones that was in the valley dropped the ball. Now we're waking up. We, we got we to gotta change, y'all. We got to go back to the most high, 100%. Beverly in the building. Hallelujah. Yeah. Are y'all with me? Look what it say. 15 verse. For if for for if their rejection brought reconciliation to the world, that's how powerful Israel is. Because salvation came through Israel. Came to Israel. Now it's perpetrated to the world through Israel. For if their rejection, 15 verse, y'all. Romans 11 and 15. For if their rejection brought reconciliation to the world, what will be the exception to be but life from the dead? Oh, it's going down. When we wake up, we standing. Ten toes down on the ground, we standing. Because this place is super wicked. But Yasharel, Israel, we ain't going for it. This sexual sickness and all the pressure. You try to take over the finances. With this new stuff, the new, the new, the new world is is a Luciferian world, a sexually sick world, a, a world where they try to take people back to Adam before Eve was taken out of it. And they trying to say that he was both male and female. That's what the statue of Baphomet is about. The goat here, when people talk about, oh, he the goat, you talking about he's a devil. The goat, the goat head with the breasts and the phallus, like the winky in the lap, he got like a winky and breast. He's half, he's male and female. That's what they doing to the people. Yeah, because they don't want to retain Yah in in in, 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 in their in they minds. Romans the first chapter, he turned them over. <coughs> Excuse me. When you get turned over, you sexually sick. And you got sexually sick folk. You got sexually sick folk. That fight for the rights of these sexually sick folk because they sick and they turned their back on Yah. This world is being turned over. Simultaneously, Yasharel, Israel is waking up. They labeling us as a hate group trying to stop us. They use the prototype of some of these youngsters that's upset. They waking up to who they are, but they don't have uh, the most high inside of them to the level that they're going to have him. So now they're angry. They, they, they want to capture them and label everybody a hate group because that's a part of their COINTELPRO. That's how they stop movements. They ain't going to stop this one because this one is from Yah. At least you find yourself fighting against Yah. Yeah, they don't mind fighting against Yah. They're going to come up short, short the shorty. They're going to come up short the shorty. <laughs> but they down with it. But so are we. Through the power and unmerited favor of the Most High. 17th verse. They don't want to smoke. They're going to choke. Listen. If some of the branches have been broken off. And you, though a wild olive shoot. That's talking to the Gentile. Heathen nations. Enslave Yah's children. Rapists. Pedophiles. Luciferian. Wicked. Witchcraft. All your movies and your and your cartoons and your commercials and your dyslectic language, Hebrew is from right to left, your backwards language from left to right. Everything these people do is backwards. I'm just telling you the truth. Most high say, Oh, I'm gonna send you to a, a scandalous low life people. That's what he said. I'm gonna send you to a people, a shameful people, and they're gonna dog you out. And that's exactly what happened to Israel. Listen to what he said. Look look at what they did to it. See, if you really knew all the stuff they did to us, you'd understand what I'm saying. But listen, 17 verse. If some of the branches have been broken off in you, though a wild olive shoot, 
talking to them. You are wild olive shoot, have been grafted in amongst the other, sharing in the nurturing sap from the olive root. The olive root is Abraham, the Abrahamic covenant agreement that the Most High made with him. That salvation would come through him, through his seed. That the Mashiach will be born of him. That the nation born out of him, Israel, would come through him. And anyone that gets saved is going through there. There is no new people. There is no uh, 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 getting rid of Israel and then now it's to the church. Like, like these folks trying to get rid of us. That's what they preach and teach. That's what Christianity teach. That the church has taken the place of Israel. When in Jeremiah 31, 31 through 33, lets you know that the new covenant is with Israel as well. He didn't say the church. He said he making a covenant with Israel. Yeah. Period. Go read it. Again. Yeah. So when the Bible says, upon this rock, I'll build my church. They, they say the, 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 the definition of church is assembly. That the, 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 the definition of church is sun god worship. But the real uh, definition they put up under a sun god worship title and the real definition is ecclesia or assembly. Well, if you get rid of church and you just have the ecclesia or assembly, the assembly is the answer to Jeremiah 31, 31 through 33. That's Israel. The new covenant was made with Israel. We run around believing we replace because the people that kidnapped us is trying to erase us, according to Psalms 83, a conspiracy on earth. The secret to the secret societies is who we are. And they jacked us for identity. But at the appointed time, the Most High was going to wake us up. I'm just telling you about if we judge ourselves, we won't be judged. But when we're judged, we're chastened. This was a part of our chastening. We didn't judge ourselves, so we got chastened. Stay with me. 17 first. If some of the branches being broken off, that's us, and you, though a wild olive shoot, have been grafted in among the others, now sharing the nourishing shaft from the olive tree, now they join the, 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 Abra the Abrahamic covenant. Now, now they are part of the Abraham, not the church, they are part of the covenant the Most High made with Abraham. Do not consider yourself to be superior to those other branches. Don't think you're superior to the other branches. Don't think you're superior to the other branches, even the ones that was broken off. If you do, consider this. You do not support the root. The root is the Abrahamic covenant. The root is the agreement that the Most High made with Abraham. The, the, the agreement that he made with Abraham is the salvation of the world. The only way out of this mess we in. Other than that, it's destruction, it's hellfire, it's damnation. Anything on the other side of Abraham, any other religion on the other side, Muslims, Hotep, Yoga, Zodiac, anything on the other side of the Abrahamic agreement is going to get bundled up and burnt up. Nice person, I'm my own business. I'm not really, I, you know, I'm not religious. I'm spiritual. All you jokers. If you do not consider this, you do not support the root, but the root supports you. You, you, don't, you don't support the root. You got to get in where you fit in. The root supports you. You got to get into the covenant agreement or you're going to get tossed and you're lost. 19 first, you will say then the branches were broken off so that I could be grafted in. Yeah. Well, remember in the parable, he said, since my folks wouldn't come in, go out in the highways and hedges and get the lame and the maim and the crippled and the blind and the crazy and bring those jokers in. That's the Gentiles. The same ones that raped us and hung us from trees. The same ones that jacked our identity, follow us around the store when we go in the store, shoot first and ask questions later. Fill us up with about 16 shots to the head and then tell us to put our hands behind our back after we on the ground bleeding and then bum rush us after we bled there for about five minutes and then put handcuffs on us. 
The same ones holler, he got a gun, he got a gun, knowing you ain't got one. You got to be filming to make sure that you, I ain't got no gun. My hands is up. Them same folk. We were broken off and put in a position for the wicked folks to do that type stuff to us so they can be grafted in so they can stop doing that type stuff to us and repent. But as a nation, it's a system. It's a Luciferian satanic system that hey, y'all and us, and they're going to keep doing what they do. But whoever on their team that want to join our team and repent, get in where you fit in. Because we're trying to be grafted back into our own Abrahamic covenant. According to Deuteronomy, the 30th chapter, waking up in, in the land of our captivity. And now we want to be grafted into our own Abrahamic covenant. Listen, 21st, granted. But they were broken off because of unbelief. And you stand by faith. Talking to the Gentiles, y'all. Granted, listen, the reason why we were broken off is because of unbelief. Our forefathers didn't believe and went against him, and so did we in the land of captivity, right? And he talked to the Gentiles. And you stand by faith. Do not be arrogant, but tremble. For if Yah did not spare the natural branches, talking about us, beat our dog on behind. If Yah did not spare the natural branches, he would not spare you either. Consider therefore the kindness and sternness of Yah, sternness to those who fail, and kindness to you. He said, I was kind to you Gentiles, but I was stern to my children, provided that you continue in his kindness. How you do uh, continue in his kindness? By by repenting from sin and, 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 and entering into the Abrahamic covenant. Otherwise, you also will be cut off. He said, I, be prejudiced against my children. Look down your nose at them. Treat them funny if you want to. Because in the Abrahamic covenant, he said, I bless those that bless you and I curse those that curse you. Yeah, they got to watch how they do us moving forward. And the ones that's Luciferians, they're going to do what they do. And the Most High is going to protect us. Because the name of Yahuwah is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and they say, but we got to repent. So a thousand, a Bible says a thousand will fall on one side, 10,000 on the other, but it will not draw your house, draw, draw nigh to your house. To whose house? Those that obey him. You got to obey him. Those that don't obey him, it is what it is, 23rd verse. And if they do not persist in unbelief, they will be grafted in. That's us. We got to not persist in unbelief, being Catholicized, being wicked, not walking in obedience, having a form of yahliness, denying the power thereof, 23rd verse. And if they do not persist in unbelief, they will be grafted in. For Yah is able to graft them in again. Why again? Because this is our house. This is our tree. This is our covenant agreement. We, we in on the renewed covenant. We in on the renewed covenant. Jeremiah 31, 31 through 33. We in on the renewed covenant. Deuteronomy 30 lets you know you're going to wake up and get back in. 24th verse. After all, you were cut off. You were cut out of an olive tree that is wild by nature. And contrary to, to, to nature, were grafted into a cultivated olive tree. Talking to the Gentiles. Are y'all with me? King, we in here, man. You might have to run this one back, man. It's a good one. Yes, sir. Come, come in clean, part eight. We in, we in Romans. 11 and 24. Yeah, run this one back, King. Okay? We'll talk. I'm going to start at uh, 24 again. After all, if you were cut out of a out of an olive tree that is wild by nature and contrary to nature, were grafted into a cultivated olive tree, how much more readily will these, the natural branches, be grafted into their own olive tree? This is our tree, y'all. The Abrahamic covenant, this is our thing. We were shipped into slavery, 28. We were reminded uh, of the slavery, reminded the whole world saw what the Most High did to us. In 29, he said, but then you're going to wake up in, in 30. In 30, you're going to wake up and remember, and remember the covenant that he made with us. We didn't serve the 400. It's time for us to wake up and remember the Abrahamic covenant that we fell from, and we got to come out of Catholicism. 
He said, come out from among them and, and be separate and I receive you. We got to come out of it. Come on, y'all. Wake your game up. Wake your spiritual game up. Pastor Jones is on. Coming clean, part eight. We're in Romans uh, 11 uh, 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 and we finna go into 25 right now. We got, we got, we got to come out from them, Jones, and claim his real name. Yeah, come out from among them. Give them back their Easter and their Christmas. Come out from among them. We're in sin after he revealed truth, and we still messing with that, running around in that in that mess, that circle, Jones. Good to see you in here. Twenty fifth verse. Look what he say. I do not want you to be ignorant of this mystery, brothers and sisters, so that you may not be conceited. Israel has experienced a hardening in part until the full number of the Gentile has come in. And in this way, all Israel will be saved. Did y'all hear that? Israel, the Gentiles, the heathen nation, the heathens, there's a full number of them that's going to be grafted into to the cultivated olive tree. Yeah, they going to come in. They they going to put down their racism. White supremacy. They are going to put that stuff down. All these other heathen nations and all these other gods they were serving. We are going full circle. There is no other way other than the the relationship that the most high God with Abraham. We were not replaced by the church according to Jeremiah 31 31 uh 30 31 31 through 33. The new covenant is with Israel still. This covenant we're reading about right here is still with Israel. And it's the grafting in of the Gentile into that covenant, not another one. There is no church. Well, there's a church, sun god worship, because that's the true definition of the term church. But the definition they use, which is a, a ecclesia, assembly, is Israel. Back to Jeremiah 31, 31 through 33. Are y'all with me? The new covenant is the assembly. This is talking about the assembly in Romans 11 chapter. Stay with me. I do not want you to be ignorant. 25 again. I got to go, y'all. I do not want you to be ignorant of this mystery, brothers and sisters, so that you may not be conceited. Israel has experienced a hardening in part until the full number of the Gentiles come in. And in this way, all of Israel will be saved. As it's written, the deliverer will come from Zion and he will turn Yahlessness uh, away from Yaakov. That's Israel, y'all. And this is my covenant with them when I take away their sins. Talking about Israel, y'all. As far as the Basura is concerned, it says the gospel, but the Basura is concerned, they are enemies for your sake, right? But as far as the election is concerned, they are loved on the account of the patriarch. Again, uh, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. For Yah's gift and his, and his cause are irrevocable, right? Comes without a repentance, meaning the covenant agreement that he made with Israel was that they'll have nothing to do that they didn't earn it. It has nothing to do with sin or not sin. We would have to go back to Romans nine to really break that open. But I want to read it in the K, in the K, in the King James version. The gifts and callings are without repentance. People really don't be understanding what that's talking about. But that's talking about the call that Yah did, he chose Abraham and then he chose his children that had nothing to do with what nothing we did. We weren't even born. He entered into a covenant agreement with Abraham before we was even born. It had nothing to do with us doing good or evil. It had everything to do with the agreement that he made with Abraham and the gifts and the callings. In other words, he gifted us to be the people that would represent him in the earth and it had nothing to do with our wickedness or our goodness. That was obsolete. It was an ingredient that Abraham had, and the ingredient that Abraham had was faith. And because of that, we did the fool just like everybody else, and we got beat down, but now he's turning back to us to, to recognize his covenant agreement with Abraham. And now it's time for us to repent. And those that will repent and walk in faith and obey him, we all good. Come on, y'all. We ain't got to knock on wood. How about that? We ain't into witchcraft and weird stuff. Listen. So, 30th verse. Just as you were at, at one time disobedient to Yah, 
have now received mercy as a result as a result of their disobedience. He's still getting at the Gentiles. I'm telling you that. He really is talking to the Gentiles. Look what he said. Just as you who were at one time disobedient, Yah have now received mercy as a result of their disobedience. Talking about uh, the Gentiles. He said to the Gentiles, you were off the hook, but you received mercy because of Israel's disobedience. So they too have now become disobedient in order that they too may now receive mercy as a result of Yah's mercy to you. Then he turned around and had mercy on these wicked people, right? Because of the wickedness of Israel. The Israel did the fool, so he turned to these wicked people. And when he turned to these people, that opened the door for him to turn back to Israel. Oh, Yah is wrong. But the people they turn it back to, the requirement for them is to repent on both sides. On both, everyone got to bow down now. On both sides. And everyone got to bow down to his unmerited favor. His mercy to receive his unmerited favor. How about that? 31st verse. So they too have now become disobedient in order that they too may now receive mercy as a result of Yah's mercy to you. For Yah has bound everyone over to disobedience so that he may have mercy on them all. Oh, don't tell me he's not wrong. All the depths of the riches of the wisdom and knowledge of Yah and unsearchable is his judgments and his past beyond tracing out. And, and who, who has known the mind of Yahuwah or who has been his counselor? Who has, uh, who has ever given to Yah that uh, Yah should repay them? For, for, for from him and through him and for him are all things. To him be Kabah forever. Amen. That's it, y'all. Did y'all get it? I had to get it in. Al Hawk, good to see you in here. We in the building, y'all. Listen. So there was no replacement of Israel. Church didn't replace uh Israel. Israel was getting a butt whoop, which allowed the Romans to uh uh uh, uh erect a religious system of sun god worship, made it look like it was our so-called religion, our relationship with the Most High. And, and it was an imposter and a fraud with pagan, satanic, luciferian uh, holy days that they uh, erected like Easter and Christmas and Halloween. All this luciferian stuff. Read, we in here, man. We a new breed, read. Listen, coming clean, part eight. We just did Romans 11 chapter. Are y'all with me? But I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> we were in trouble though, y'all. We was in big trouble. We was in big trouble. And, and uh, the whole world I'm talking about now. We was in big trouble. But through the Abrahamic covenant, salvation is in the earth. And then there's a appointed people that's going to represent him in the earth. And they dropped the ball. But he said, no, nah, I ain't cast them away. Whom, whom, the, whom, the, whom Yahuwah love, he chased and discouraged every son whom receive it. Israel is his son. He scourged him, whooped his dog on behind. Whooped it good. Now that we're on the other side of the 400, 1619 to 2019, 400 years, judgment is here. According to Genesis of 1512, through 14. Judgment is here. In judgment, he judging those that hate us. And he's saving those that don't. He, he judging those that hate him. And he's saving those that love him. All right now. So it's time for us to turn back. I'm trying to tell you. Repent, y'all. Repent. How many of y'all down to repent? Put a five in here. We finna pray. Because I got to go this morning. I'm in a hurry. We got to pray. Put a five in here. If you're ready to repent, come out from among them. Be separate. Start preaching, teaching this truth in these last and evil days. No matter what they talking about. Run this one back. It's worth running. Y'all that just came in, run it back. There's some good food in here. Listen, put a five in here. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here like last year. Put a five on it and let's pray. Hallelujah. 
to him to know if to do good and do it and not to him it is sin. You can't play with this. It's far from a game. We Yasharel. Hey, 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 how much more us being reconciled back, woken up? Come on now. We mean, we mean, we look, they, they want to get rid of us so bad because they got this Luciferian agenda. Uh, but we all, we, we with the most high and he protecting us. Woo, he protecting us. He got us. Listen, let's pray. Spirit of living Elohim, we love you and thank you for this opportunity coming for you, homies. You know how we're a gleaning uh, from your rule are in your presence. Be merciful this, to this year. Your children continue to uh, give us truth on a whole nother level. Uh, you stood at the door and knocked. We heard the word. We opened, let you in. You start bre breaking the bread alive. You said you would sup with us. Man, if not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out your mouth, that's the supper. That's the supper. Continue to fill us up with the power of your word, the power of your ruah. Uh, leading guidance in all truth, and we'll be careful to give you the praise, honor, not only now, but forever in the matchless name of Yahushua, we only pray. Hallelujah, hallelujah, and Amon. I pray everybody is good. I pray we all stay on one accord. If anyone need to repent, do that. If anyone need to receive him as master of their life, put a one in here. I'm going to do a special prayer for you, like right now. Is there anyone in here that never received him as master of their life? Put a one in here. I want to pray for you. If you received him as master, you don't have to put a one. You don't have to put a one. You're already there. If you did something wrong, just repent. But if you never received him, put a one in here. I take it everybody good. Well, let me thank every thank everybody that puts the share button, sharing your platforms with the truth of the word. Thank everybody that tag you, tagging people, tell them, come in, there's a word over here. Come get it. And 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 thank everybody that financially supports this ministry. Yeah, you should sow where you grow. It's terrible to sit here to grow, but won't sow. And the most high wake your game up. Jeff, you put a one in here. You, you, you want to get saved for the first time? Put a one in here again if I'm telling you the truth. Do you want to get saved for the first time or are you already saved? Put a two in here if you're already saved, Jeff. Put a two in here if you're already saved. Put a one in here if you want to get saved right now. G, good to see you in here. You're going to have to run it back, man. We done. We done. Is that it? Put a two in if you're already saved, Jeff. Uh, Y'all want to talk about it, pray about it? 302-202-1102, extension 815648. 302-202-1102, extension 815648. I see all the twos coming in. Je Je Jeff put in a one. Uh, I said, if you ain't never, never been saved before, put in a one. He put in a one. I said, Jeff, if you say, put in a two. But I love the twos. A whole bunch of folks saved. I like y'all. I'm uh, uh, on, on the conference line. Y'all continue to pray for me as I pray for you. Be Baruch and Brock and Shalom. I'm God.